Hi! In this video I want to show you how to create a CLR extension for SQL Server. Using any of .NET programming languages you can create, among others, three types of user-defined functions, the so-called UDFs. Scalar-valued functions, table-valued functions and aggregates. In this part I will present the steps to create a table-valued functions. It's going to return a list of files in a given folder. To begin with, I've started Visual Studio. I'm creating a new project. Choosing a proper template, which in this case is class library, and changing its ins default name to something more friendly, like CLR. As you will see, there is not much to write and the program is very simple. First, I'm getting rid of the namespace since it's unnecessary in this project. I'm going to rename the class. Actually, for user-defined table-valued function, we must define two methods working together one to be called by a user in SQL Server and the other that will be run internally by the first one to produce each row iteratively. I'm starting with the first. The underlines mean some namespaces are missing and have to be added. And we are doing it that way. One attribute is needed, a SQL function that specifies it's a SQL Server function. So let's define it. Another namespace missing. The property fill row method name points to the method that will be run for each row. Now I'm going to write the second method. In this method we define a few parameters. The first will hold an object of a demanded type, in our case it's a directory info. The remaining will contain the values in subsequent columns. Everything we need is to assign values to all out parameters.
this is it. Let's try to build it. Everything seems to be okay. Now I'm going to switch to SQL Server Management Studio. I've already <coughs> created a database for testing purposes. First, we must set some options that allow CLR extensions to be added. The next step is to alter the <coughs> database and set uh, its trustworthy property to on because it indicates that the assembly will have a permission set to unsafe. In our case, this permission will allow the assembly to read from a disk. Normally, SQL Server disallows such operations. So let's do it. Time to create the assembly. This statement tells SQL Server that we want to use a DLL containing CLR, CLR objects. I'm going to copy and paste the path. faster and type it. Something's wrong. Check what happened. <coughs> of course, we are missing out the keyword at the last uh, parameter. Rebuild it. But now we have to. Assembly. Otherwise, SQL Server wouldn't allow us to create it again. Okay. 
again and again and now it's okay okay finally I can run the function to see if it works for instance for the default directory the current directory seems it works of, co of course we may use any clause that are appropriate for select statement like where That's all. Thank you for watching. Next time I'll show you a process of creating an aggregate. So, see you soon.